Hey guys, so we are here with Tony Watson. He's one of our Titanium Endors service providers. So last night you stopped by at the uh, Investors Club mm -hmm. every uh, Tuesday night. Yes. And you sh uh, give a little, let's share a little bit for people because we have, uh, in the last 12 months, we have over 500 families uh, buying, you know, bought a new home. Wow, right? that's a lot. In the yeah. last 10 years, we have over 5,000 families and many of them wasn't here last night. So let's share a little bit what they're missing. Sure, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, the, the, the group the other night was very, uh, they, they were very eager, eager to learn uh, some of the tax uh, tips that we were, we were discussing. Yeah, so for um, our homeowners? For, for How can you benefit us? Oh my gosh, well for homeowners, people who are buying their first property, buying their 15th property, uh, the tax advice is going to be one and the same. We talked a little bit about asset protection and how LLCs can protect rental properties uh, from potential litigation. And then we also talked about the deductibility of mortgage interest, the de deductibility of primary residencies on their yeah. individual tax returns and how the new tax code, the new tax administration might be impacting that kind of write-off. Uh, one thing that I stressed in the meeting though uh, was the importance of planning. A lot of people don't realize what they're doing on their tax returns, especially if they're self-prepared taxpayers. Mm -hmm. When they go to their accountant, they usually drop off the paperwork and yeah. they trust their accountant to file it correctly. And so the most important thing for people who come to, to you know, Remax Titanium uh, to, to understand is one, obviously they want to close on their property, right? Mm -hmm. And as soon as they close on the property, the next thing is, okay, well, what is this going to, what kind of impact am I going to have for this house purchase on my individual tax return? Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's very important to understand that this financial change, this major financial change in their yeah. personal uh, tax situation, what it, how it's going to impact them personally. Yeah, let's talk about choice. planning uh, because most people, when they go to their tax preparer, right, they go to their... Uh, EA, CPA, uh, all they talk about, hey, just file my tax return. Right. Or the small business owners, okay, let's just file the LLC or the S corporation. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the value. Give me an example of planning for a typical, let's say, because we deal with a lot of uh, investors who own sure. one or two rental properties. Sure. So the, the, the main thing that a t any taxpayer should uh, focus on every year, actually before the end of every year, mm -hmm. is what their bracket is, what their tax bracket is, because that number will tell you what return on investment you will receive for every deduction you take on your individual return. So now remember, we all share the same calendar year end. We all end our year December 31st. Mm -hmm. And so the importance of planning is to make sure that implementing these strategies before December 31st, that you make sure that you implement all of that so that the changes can occur when you get ready to file your taxes. For instance, yeah. uh, if somebody wants to defer money into a retirement plan and they want to put $10,000 into an IRA or a 401k, mm -hmm. and let's say they're in the 33% tax bracket, mm -hmm. if you put that $10,000 into a 401k or an IRA before the end of the year and your tax rate is 33%, $10,000 is going to return you $3,300 in tax savings. So the importance of planning is to figure out, the reason why you plan is to figure out, hey, what can I do before my calendar year end with my taxes or with my investments to reduce the amount of liability I'm gonna have to pay to Uncle Sam. Yeah, so that's the value of, uh, you know, that the value that you bring to our clients. Correct. Not simply just filing tax return. Correct. Uh, another most common mistake homeowners make when they sell their homes, they thought they can only take that. So we talk about the benefits of, uh, it's uh, so owning real estate is the only, uh, I think it's uh, how to say it. When the home appreciate from 250,000 to 500,000, for example, most tax uh, preparers say, well, you can do it that one time. Right, correct. So, so there's something called the Section 121 exclusion, which says that any individual or couple can live in a property, they have their, their primary residence for two out of the past five years. And if they meet that requirement two out of the past five years, they can sell that home for up to, if they're single, up to a $250,000 gain tax-free. If they're married, husband and wife or spouse, partner, they can sell it for up to a $500,000 profit tax-free. So real estate, so, yeah, it's the only asset that mm -hmm. when it appreciates up to five, it's a tax-free. Tax-free. Both federal and state. How many times can we do that? The general misconception is that you can only do it once, but the code changed years back stating that, hey, you can do this technically every three years. You just have to meet the requirement of living in the property for two out of the past five years. You have to be, uh, it has to be our principal residence and the definition of principal residence is you have to live two out of the last five years. Two out of the past five years, correct. And they do not have to be consecutive years. So you can live in it one year, 
move out of it for three years, live in it the fifth year, sell it at the end of that 365 day period and have the full exclusion. Then I move into the second home and do the same thing. You do the same thing, Over. but you got to live in it two out of the past. Five yeah. Years. So this is an example of planning. Correct. Right. Correct. So more importantly, when that person is selling a property, whether it's a primary residence or an investment property, the most important thing for you to do is pick up the phone and call your tax preparer to make sure to cross your T's, dot your I's, to make sure that there is not going to be a tax liability when you sell that property. Okay. So for all of our Facebook friends here who's watching, mm -hmm. 5,000 of our clients who couldn't be here last night at the Investors Club. Uh, we are offering, you are offering the free second look, is that what you're offering? Correct, yes, we call it our second opinion consultation. It's free, uh, 30 minutes in person or over the phone with either myself or any of the Robert Holland Associates uh, executive accountants. Uh, and that's once again in Glendale, California. So uh, what's, what's, the, what's your phone number? Phone number is 818-242-4888. Or you can email me at Tony Watson at Robert Hall taxes.com. So email Tony, uh, just put titanium so that way he knows uh, you are from here and then he'll take a look at your tax return. Past two years tax returns for free. For free. All right. Thanks. Thank